Today I am here with a special guest, Samuel Jong, who's a basketball agent, big time basketball agent. Hey. I appreciate you coming. Um, now you've kind of taken Southeast Asia basketball by storm, what seems like overnight. Um, just give us a rundown of some top players you work with. Top players? Okay, let's talk about uh, Wong Long. I guess everyone know about him. Like in Southeast Asia, it's quite a big time back in Singapore. And yep, I brought him to the CIS 9 this year for the AVLs. Yeah, and there's a few others more like Freddy, uh, Cameron Forte playing for Cameron Forte and Lenny Daniel last season. He playing for one of the celebrity team in in Taiwan, the Famosa Dream. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, which owned by Blackie Chen. Okay. Yeah, it's quite 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 influenced celebrity in in Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And there's a few other more like the Corey Johns, uh, Curtis Washington. Nice. So you yeah. work with you help a lot of guys get to the the ABL and. Now you're helping them get to the PBA also. Uh, yeah, true. Like uh, this year, I'm a really lucky that, and the team also giving me the opportunity to work with me. I've been sending like Akim Wright to the Colombia team. Mm -hmm. Now you also work with guys and girls. Uh, what are some tournaments or some leagues uh, besides the ABL, besides the PBA? Okay, so besides ABL and PBA, I'm also work in the Indonesia League IBL, mm -hmm. IBL, uh, Vietnam League BBA, Malaysia Women Basketball League, Malaysia. Basketball League too, and plenty of tournaments like in Indonesia, Philippines. Because yeah. there's so many, there's, yeah. I feel like there's a lot of leagues that people see. You know, they see on Eurobasket, but there's so many tournaments that people have no idea about. Yes, yes, yes. basically those tournaments they don't like, they don't really register in as FIBA. Mm. Yeah, they just make it like a an event, like a mini tournament something. Yeah, and yeah, there's quite a few teams. They're always looking for imports to hype up the crowds. Mm -hmm. yeah. So now, why would if I'm an American import and Samuel Jong is reaching out to me? Why would it be beneficial for me to play in a tournament? More exposure, exactly. Like uh, the people in Asia, they only trust in their own eyes. Yeah. Instead of videos, mm -hmm. stats, yeah, highlight. So basically, everyone's trusting their own eyes. So once he really see you, he play really well, and maybe he heard from his friend. That's how people get into a big, big league, better league. Yeah. Let me ask you, how did you get started? Because Brunei, you're originally from Brunei, and it's not really a well-known country. It's not known for its basketball. So how did you start becoming an agent? Yeah. Okay. Basically, like like what you say just now, Brunei got no league, no professional league at all, and the Brunei basketball isn't really big or what yeah and uh, it's really lucky uh i've been making it like what i got right now because of uh let's say you can say about my patient the basketball mm -hmm. and all the connection like all the people i met example like tito at mm -hmm. and Ponteja, yeah he's the one the he considered like my senior yeah, yeah he's the one well guiding. known agent in the philippines yeah, yeah he's the one like guiding me and every time i met, uh if i encounter any like troubles I will ask him yeah he will give me advice and also I'm really lucky that you make one deal and more people to come look for you and yeah. that's how I started and it's all about patient yeah. basketball definitely yeah. so networking and obviously your mentorship with uh, Tito Ed Ponce obviously players probably uh, hit you up all the time what's the first thing you ask yeah resume of course mm -hmm. resume like okay. so if a player doesn't have a resume does he have any chance of getting a job they do like if because I have players hit me up all the time and they'll be like, oh, I don't have a resume, I don't have film. And I'm like, how are these teams gonna see you? Yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. So maybe sometimes like, let's say a good player recommend that or oh, my guy can really hoop or something. Yeah. Maybe sometimes I trust that, but not all of them. Like some, I, I've still got a lot of uh, good friends in state. So yeah, mm -hmm. yeah they won't be cheating on me. Yeah, yeah. okay. Um, now, what do you look for in players you work with? Like, what uh, characteristics, what qualities as a person do you Oh, of course, players? please, uh, need to be, like, really nice personality because back in state and in Asia, the culture is totally different. So different, yeah. So different. So you gotta, like, bear with it, the culture. So you must be a really nice personality and respect the culture. You yeah, know? definitely. So what do teams uh, generally in, in Asia, what do they look for in players? Like what kind of guys are they looking for? Okay, so in Asia, to be honest, they are more looking into a big man, big man player, yeah, or a swing man position, like a 3-4 or 4-5. Because in Asia, we don't really have a lot of big big guys. Not in Asia, let's say in Southeast Asia, they don't really have a lot of big guys. 
everyone's uh, around like five foot something yeah. the tallest maybe only six one six two so everyone every team always looking for big men to help in mm. inside and the there's camp, like yeah. for example like right now we're in the philippines there's so many great guards in the philippines yes exactly so obviously coming in as an import you want somebody who's going to dominate inside who's going to be a beast yeah how often do teams look for guards though how often it depends the teams like okay they do have some time sometimes sometimes the team look for guards too but not not every time but mostly mm -hmm. they're only looking for swing men and the big men yeah so is it is there certain leagues though that look for maybe a guard and a big okay to be honest uh recently asian basketball league they start looking for guards in port because of the new rules change right they allow three wars in port mm -hmm. so basically everyone is going for guard and the swing man and the big man okay yeah yeah i mean i noticed with like hong kong has marcus elliott yeah true uh who else that the team from china has tucker tucker yeah mckinley yeah. and even recently the cal dragon designed the x nba the x nba veteran guy. oh okay i know who you're talking about yeah and then he's a god too and then Maybe. mono mono just signed a five seven squad yeah true guy. yeah and mono mono Brooklyn. is going for like small squad this small ball, yeah, yeah small ball yeah Marcus Kane and Jason Brinkman. Definitely, definitely. Now that we're on the topic of networking, um, how important has Facebook been for you personally, growing your business? <laughs> okay, basically, Facebook is my everything. Your everything? <laughs> yeah, my everything. Okay. That is because of Facebook, so I just get in touch with a lot of players, and yeah, that's how I started, thanks to Facebook. <laughs> so Facebook is like opened up uh, giving you access to players all over the world right yes you're obviously true. in Brunei you travel around South uh, that's just how we communicate with each other by using Facebook the messenger mm -hmm. using call or by tags yeah that's yeah. how we do it that's awesome so for for players in the States obviously what you put on your social media is very important yeah. right because if they're communicating with somebody like you um, obviously the teams are doing research and if they're doing stuff like partying all the time or holding up a gun in a picture, that looks pretty bad. Yeah, true. So yeah, every everyone just like, like I said just previous, everyone is looking for a good guy. Yeah. So for players, how important is social media? Because I try to I try to tell guys this all the time, that your image is kind of everything. Because they don't see you in person. You yeah, know, okay. Taking a chance uh, yeah, to... as as a pro player, right? Mm -hmm. Uh you gotta be more active in social media. You gotta post your stuff, everything, because this is time people notice you. Yeah. At this time, like example for me, or oh, I'll be looking. Oh, this guy is in Europe right now. He's been doing well. Maybe I can get him in the next season. Mm -hmm. Something like that. I will stop talking with you. Yeah. So social media is really important to import players. Really important. What are like? Do you ever get frustrated at messages from people? Like, do guys hit you up all the time, like expecting you to? Yeah, I, I kind of you I, I, I met some random people or messenger. Like, once I no reply, mm. they're like, I think bullshit, like talking shit to me. Like, why you're not replying? Yeah. And this and that. Yeah, a lot. I met a lot of these kind of players too. Like, literally every day, I receive a lot of messages. Mm. Every day. Yeah, at least 10 or 15 messages every day. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Now, what are some uh, some of the best places to play in Asia? In Asia? If, I, if I know nothing about Asia, and I'm in world import what are some some of the best places to play like some leagues some top leagues some top leagues in asia or southeast asia mm. uh southeast asia asia whatever oh, that, if you say about asia or southeast asia maybe if asia you can be talking about like kbl korean basketball league mm. cba nbl maybe those in middle east or of course philippines yeah they're always looking for good players and they paid really good yeah. good money now, what about the ABL? Because the ABL is obviously on the rise. Yeah, ABL is getting better and better each and every day, as we all can see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so probably some days ABL will be like on the top league in Asia too, sooner or later. Yeah, do you think it's almost uh, fair to start comparing it to maybe the Euro League of Asia basketball or the Euro Cup? Because there's so many teams being represented by so many countries, so much talent. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, much yeah. local talent and then so many great world imports coming in. Yeah, they can be doing something like like, like what you say, like something like a Euro Cup format mm -hmm. soon. Yeah, because it's really fun. Like every team 
like you represent your own country to play against each other it's really it's really like it's really nice yeah that's awesome so now as we you know kind of wind down our interview what is a common misconception of being an agent like when you came in to being an agent and you thought of what it was going to be like what has changed what is different you can really like change of life like right now i met a lot of nice people like team owners players that's why i got like I know a lot of I met a lot of friends. Yeah. And also what bad about it is like, you know, the time difference. Mm -hmm. So every time when I talk to my client, my place is midnight. Mm -hmm. And their yeah, place probably morning, yeah. That's the most the for me is most most different part of it. Yeah. Because I don't really work as a full time agent. I I do have my own business to do too. Okay. So yeah. It's sometimes quite tired, like doing both in the same yeah. time. Yeah. So now you you have another business. Um, so you don't do this just to make money, then. Yeah, You're no. doing this to help yeah. players. Yeah, like my main objective for doing this as an agent is trying to help as much as possible. You know, mm -hmm. trying to help those, like those talented players to get job. Yeah, just try to bring more players into Southeast Asia. Like let them have an opportunity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's awesome. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Now, uh, my last question is: What is your advice to all players uh, aspiring to play overseas? Just stay professional. Like, uh, be friendly with the, with everyone you met, mm -hmm. and nice personality, of course. And yep, yeah. this this my advice. If you can wish, I can give. Okay, awesome. Well, I I thank you so much, and I appreciate you uh, for for giving right. me time yeah. to interview you. Um, and I look forward to seeing, you know, your future successes as an agent. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.